Merry Christmas, Morasokas. <laughs> YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. Man, listen, this is a fragrance-related channel, but I jump into a little bit of fashion over here, a little bit of style content as well. So if you're into that, make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell icon as well. So when a new content is uploaded, you get notified. Man, listen, Merry Christmas. You should be seeing this video on Christmas Day. Um, but man, just want to wish all of you guys, man, just a, a Merry Christmas out there. Um, Happy New Year uh, on the way. Uh, thank you guys for uh, another great year here on this channel. Uh, it's at the end of the year, of course. So uh, when it gets to the end of the year, uh, you start to see a lot of content. That's kind of a, a summary or reflection over the, the past year. So this is going to be one of those videos. Uh, where I talk to you guys about 10 of my favorite pickups from the entire year of 2023. Now, I will openly admit um, I may do another version of this list because I'm almost certain when I really go back and look at everything I acquired over the past year, there uh, are probably 10 additional fragrances that I like at least as much as the one I want to talk about today. So... That being said, man, I don't want to go on too long, but again, Merry Christmas to you guys. I'm going to run the intro, and um, I know you guys are going to be spending time with family today, so this is going to be a kind of quick video, especially since I'll be doing another installment of this, but the most um, or the best fragrance pickups of 2023. If you want to see what I have on the list, you know the routine, man. Keep it locked. Right here. Let's get it. Merry Christmas. Ooh. Ooh, and relax your mind. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump into the video. Not a lot of description on these fragrances, man. Just want to show you some of my favorite pickups from this year. Um, from the brand of Tom Ford, Amber Absolute. Now, this is a, a large bottle, 3.4 ounce. You guys know that um, over the past year, I kind of acquired this in stages. I got like a decanter that had about 40 ml in it. Then around the same time that I found this, I had actually found a 1.7 ounce bottle. But shortly thereafter, I actually found this. In, and this is what I really wanted, this large bottle, because most of my time for private blends are in a 3.4 ounce bottle. So I sold the 1.7 ounce bottle. And I still have this. So this is definitely one of my favorite pickups because I wanted this fragrance for so long in my collection. Discontinue, hard to find. But seriously, if you like amber, this is one of the best ambers. Kind of a dark, resinous amber fragrance, but it is really, really good. So because I wanted this for so long and I had the chance to actually finally acquire it, especially being in this size bottle, it definitely made the list. On the brand of Tom Ford. Amber Absolute. What's good, guys? This is your guy, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. And I just want to let you guys know about a sale that I am running with Novelist Parfum for my collection, guys. If you're not aware, I did a collection with Novelist Parfum. I did five fragrances. And listen, for the next couple weeks, we're going to run a sale. You buy one fragrance, use the code Bowtie30, you'll get 30% off. But if you buy two or more, 50% off. It's the winter season. If you're looking for a great gourmand, grab Divine Aphrodisiac. This has a beautiful peanut butter accord, coffee, and Indian sesame. Amazing gourmand fragrance. If you're looking for the perfect signature scent, grab Sartorio Nui. This is tonka bean, vanilla, sandalwood, and lavender. And if you're looking for the compliment machine, grab Old Debonair. This has florals, but it also has oak moss, musk, and ambroxan. This will get you a lot of compliments and also another signature scent this is lyric hands down this is just 
one of the best fragrances on the planet. All right, guys, so head over to Novitas Spa Farm. Don't forget to use the discount code BOWTIE30. If you buy one, BOWTIE50. If you buy two or more, you can get some holiday savings. I'll at you on the flip side. All right, guys, another fragrance that I was extremely happy to acquire this year was this one from the brand of Clive Christian. It's called Amberwood. Amberwood. What is not easy to do nowadays is jump into my top 10 fragrances of all time. And this fragrance is kind of teetering there. I love this fragrance. I really love this fragrance. The crazy thing to me is when I first got into fragrances, Clive Christian fragrances kind of had a not so great reputation with people in the fragrance community um, because they felt like they were overpriced and the fragrances were not that good for what you're paying. I can kind of still see where people are coming from with that, but with all that aside, I was really impressed with Amberwood. I'm an amber fragrance lover, and this is one of those sweet ambers that kind of has that cinnamon amber thing going. Oh my God, I love this fragrance. I just really can't get enough of it. So glad to have added this to the collection. Um, but anyway, if you like sweet ambers that kind of have that spicy cinnamon nutmeg thing going on in the background, I think you'll like this one as well from the brand of Clive Christian. This is Amberwood. Another fragrance that I would put on this list, obviously. Oh, man, this this whole uh, straight collection is so good, man. This is from Unwise. This is Reflection 45. Man. This is so good. This is so good. This is seriously, this is, this is so good. It still has pretty much a close resemblance to the original Reflection Man. But they made it woodier, a little earthier. I described it before a little dirtier. Uh, that's the best way for me to describe it. But man, if you love the original Reflection Man, I think you'll be a huge fan of this as well. This is easily one of my top 10 pickups from 2000 and 23 man i absolutely love everything about this fragrance you know it performs better than the original um and it, like i said i love the fact that it has the core of what the original reflection man is embedded into this fragrance man but now i think it's even more versatile and i think that now you can wear it in even more seasons and scenarios so bravo Love the fact that I added this one to the collection this year. This is a gem from the brand of Amouage Reflection 45. I talked a lot about this next fragrance and um, it is easily in my top 10 fragrances for life. And that's why obviously we make a list like this from the brand of Narcotica. This is called Doza Amber Intense. Man, spicy, a little bit green, a little bit boozy amber fragrance, man. Guys, I seriously can't tell you. I cannot articulate how much I love this fragrance. Again, but it is everything that I personally look for in a fragrance. All right? So happy to have this in my collection. Like I said, if it's going to be in my top 10 for life, it definitely had to be in my top 10 pickups of the year. Uh, this brand does fragrances so well. They have a new fragrance that came out that I am anticipating getting my hands on. I will tell you guys all about it when I receive it, but... You need to check out this fragrance. You need to check out this brand. From the brand of Narcotica, those are Amber Intense. And again, this is an extract to perform, so all of their fragrances perform all day. So check them out. All right, guys, this next fragrance is a gem I picked up probably about a month ago from the brand of Guerlain. Man, guys, this is beyond good. This is Tobacco Honey. Listen, if you love tobacco and honey, as the name indicates, you're going to love this one. Man, this is good. And I, I again, I don't want to go too much right now into full-on descriptions of fragrances, but it is all about the name in this fragrance, tobacco and honey. If you love those two things, you have to get your nose on this. So happy to have this in my collection. So well done. I mean, from a quality perspective, this thing performs like an absolute monster. Get your nose on this one, guys, from the brand of Guerlain. Tobacco honey, one that you must smell. All right, guys, this fragrance, next fragrance to me seems to be um, all about woods, cedar wood, all kinds of woods. And 
it may not well if you're like me when you first smell this especially on paper it may not be your cup of tea this is one of those fragrances you truly have to put this on your skin to understand what i'm talking about but man i absolutely love this fragrance from the brand of boda cedar victorious green sapphire woody masculine muskiness in a bottle words don't do it justice honestly i tell you guys this one when you first smell it again especially on paper you may be like eh and of course obviously there's some of you that still may smell it on skin and think that but trust me i purchased or added probably I don't know how many bowl of seas this year. That was kind of my, the house that I invested the most time into. And um, when you talk about compliments, this is definitely top two, two or three for sure. I mean, obviously green, I meant blue sapphires up there, but this is probably a close second when it comes to compliments. Just one you got to experience. So glad to have added this to the collection this year, man. From Boulder City Victorious, guys, check out Green Sapphire. One of my most worn, one of my most complimented, one of my most everything fragrances. Got it this year from Louis Vuitton Imagination. The dent is there. I've worn it by itself. I've blended it. I've mixed it. I've worn it to just about every scenario that you can think of. This gets the job done. When you talk about versatile fragrances when you talk about mass appealing all those different adjectives that kind of mean the same thing this comes to mind all right i am so glad i have this in the collection this kind of one of those swiss army knives kind of like aventus cologne creed aventus uh, itself the baccarat Rouge 540 of the world the oil savages all those things those fragrances you don't have to think about it all you know you're going to get compliments more than likely and smell good and all those things this fragrance is that so glad I had added this to the collection, man. From the brand Louis Vuitton, one of my favorite pickups this year was this one, Imagination. This next fragrance, most things about it are, again, one of those fragrances where it's everything I look for in a fragrance. This one comes from the brand of Sense of Woods. This is Plum and Cognac. Plum and Cognac. And I think they actually won an award when this fragrance actually came out for like one of the best fragrance releases of that year. And I 100% see why. Boozy, resinous, slightly sweet plum fragrance. That's exactly what this is, man. And if you like, or if you're a person, the one more that likes like those kind of ambery fragrances, if you love amber, if you love boozy fragrances, if you're a person that wanted to get your hands on plum japonais, from Tom Ford, and you were not because it's discontinued, just check it out. Check it out, guys. You will not be disappointed. From the brand of Sense of Woods, Plum and Cognac. Cognac. <sighs> guys. This week, I'm going to be doing a video on the entire Soulmates collection for Mind Game. You guys got to get your nose on this, man. This is from the new Soulmates collection of Mind Games. This is called French Defense. French Defense. Guys. This is black cherry and amber. I'm gonna reserve the rest of my commentary for the mind games video. And the last fragrance I wanna talk about, at least on this installment of this particular video of my top 10 favorite pickups of the year. I'm going back to Amouage, man. Jubilation 40. Jubilation 40. If you like Amouage, if you love the original Jubilation, 
25. Get your nose on it. Easily one of my favorite pickups this year. Love everything about this fragrance. I love what they did with this new iteration of Jubilation Man. Um, all three of the fragrances from the Extrait Collection, which I'm actually going to do a video on that this week as well. So this Interlude 53 Reflection 45, I think. Um, all three of those fragrances that were made in the quote-unquote men's range. I'm going to do a further analysis and breakdown on these coming up, but... All three of them, easy 10 out of 10. Easy. So, happy to have added this one to the collection, man. For my mouage, jubilation, 40. But that is it, guys. That is my time. What are some of your favorite pickups from 2023? I sincerely would love to hear from you guys down in the comment section. Now, as always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch. But you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments out to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Voltaire Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.